Okay, this is a relatively stock CentOS 6.3 VPS, so it's not state-of-the-art. Um, it's There's nothing special. All we've done is gone ahead and installed um, an extra repository or two. The main one of interest that, other than the CentOS-based ones, is this EPEL, which is Extra Packages for Enterprise Linux. And that has some of the components for PHP that are needed for this installation. So what we need to do now is install the um, RPM, which includes and adds the ThoughtWave software repository. So I'll do RPM minus I, and you can put the direct URI in on the command line, and it will download and install it. And this is the latest repo at the time that this is created. You can check the ThoughtWave website to find out if there's a newer one. Let's go ahead and install that. And it's really very quick, actually. And then go back and take a look. And you can see this additional file here, this thoughtwave.repo, which has been added. So let's go ahead and take a look at that file. And what that does is create an entry in a repository called ThoughtWave with this base URL, and that's the FTP site. You can also go and grab the packages directly from there, but this is yum enabled. So let's uh, go ahead and yum clean all, just to get our fresh metadata. And we want to do yum install joomla3-t3.star. And we want to add this no GPG check, because I haven't set up the uh, new privacy guard uh, keys on this right now. So let's go ahead and run that. And this is going to take uh, a look at the system and figure out all of the prerequisites. And it's also going to scan through the repositories and see what it needs to and build a dependency chain. You'll see that in a moment. So there's a whole bunch of items um, installed. It looks like about 40 packages need to be either installed or upgraded. And let's go ahead and say, yes, this is OK. It's 33 megabytes. It's going to be pretty quick. Some of these don't even look like they are obvious updates, but they are required for other dependencies. So now it's, uh, it's downloaded those, and it's running the installation. You can see that there's actually 53 updates that need to happen. And the cool thing is these are all taken care of by the dependencies in the Joomla RPM in the ThoughtWave repository, so you don't need to download these individually. That's, of course, it's about a 9 megabyte file. It's mostly compressed PHP script, so that's probably the biggest of all of the uh, installed packages. Give it a moment here, and it's actually going to install and uncompress. There you go. OK, so now what we need to do is we need to start um, MySQL. OK, so now we need to create a root account. Use a more secure password, but this will be fine for this demo. MySQL ADM minus U root password root. And then the next thing we want to do is service HTTP start check config HTTP on. And we can see that our HTTP server is running. And if you bring up a web browser, you will see that you will actually bring up the configuration for our Joomla website. So you can see in the var www.html, you can see all of the actual scripts that are part of this installation. So just go to that and do your normal Joomla, Joomla configuration. And the beauty of it is an RPM. So if you want to remove it and start from scratch or do an update, you can just do RPM minus E, Joomla 3-t3-3.0. And in this case, it's, it's no arc. And now you can see the files are actually gone. So we've installed it and uninstalled it in a matter of minutes.